Hi and welcome to Stop Motion. I'm sorry I'm a little late. It's always a little hectic. Uh, hectic on uh, Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays because I have the kids workshop also that day. So, And the kids workshop is 6 my time. And uh, and this is eight, so. Uh, but anyway, now we are here, and can carry on. And I hope I have remembered everything. It looks like it. So last time we we. Uh, Played around with uh, with the problem with the winter trees without leaves. So, and I have not decided what uh, what we at least uh, thought I would do is that I will uh, make a. A silicone cast because I by now I had don't have any other ideas to how to do it in in the right way but there are tons of other stuff to do and making figures to oh, Figures to all the uh, persons that are participating in the film, and for any newcomers, then this is about uh, me making a stop motion, not a little bitty one with some action figures running around on a kitchen table but it's a really animated stop motion animated cinema movie so at least that does all and the story is about he's not here right now but uh, Flint Flint is a boy uh, 10, 12 years old and living in the Middle Ages in the forest. And that's why we have all these fun with, with trees and leaves and so on. And uh, here uh, you can see we have some uh forest pictures in here somewhere he, you can see his his home is kind of in here somewhere down there in the the lower picture you can see in between the trees there is a cave and there he lived together with his family. And what we are following, that's, that's their life. And those two boys, uh, him and a friend, a friend from another tribe who living, uh, uh, living uh, with a sea, uh, A little longer uh, from where they are living so that's kind of what it is this is a long story but there are a lot of people in those tribes and Flint are living together with his mom and 
and uh, father and sister and and so on and and a lot of other people in the tribe and the same is his friend. They are kind of Flint uh, family is kind of a hunter, hunter, gather, gathering um, in the tribe, and his friend's family is fishermen, uh, also hunters and so on. But and then. You have to make a forest, and you have to make animals in the forest, and insects, and trees, and what? All the stuff that are in the forest pools, you have to make all the people. And as, as I often have said before, I should have made a made a story about the lizard in a lizard in the desert that was easier this is some of the clay I actually heated yesterday but that that was not so good for all of it Thing. But, uh, it's kind of get hard some of it. But, uh, it's kind of good for fill material in inside the it. ingredients in this is but maybe the oven was too hot or something what do I know what do I know another time I do not like it but put new stuff on the outside. And the uh, stuff yesterday I was uh, 
it kind of gets okay again when I squeeze it a little. Uh, the stop yesterday with the with the winter branches and with our leaves. Yeah. I will anyway if I have to make uh, mold and cast then and silicone then I have to do that later anyway because I haven't bought the material to it, to it yet. I need to. I need to. Kind of make a little research on how to, how to and what to do it with. best because I haven't done that before either like this I haven't done before learning along the way and my sniffling because I have pneumonia so I know my voice are not a nice radio voice anyway but it uh, don't don't help with with uh, with a cold and pneumonia and whatnot so we have to live with it at least I have <coughs> At least I am. Take a new one. I need to get some of those, of these, I mean, scanned in so I can release some clay. I use tons of clay. some more that was a solution too but I have to scan them and so on hey all that plastic wrapper
Sorry. I have found myself a cough button. when you get to the evening and it's evening here in Denmark right now so when you wake in the morning you think it's much better but then time then it starts and the worst part is that you can't sleep because as soon as you get down on your back then it's crazy I guess it's the season for that kind of stuff want to see what this is gonna be
I think I pour up some coffee so I can get the throat fixed. Because this is not going to work. Try to make them all look kind of little Neanderthal, but I know they were not uh, not Neanderthal in the Middle Ages, but kind of try to. Sorry, it's kind of keep coming after me. In the Middle Ages, they look pretty much like us, but but it's fiction, so. I managed to get through the kids workshop without too much coughing but now it takes revenge <laughs>
think this time we have to make a female so we can we can balance the gender a little. Problem with Stone Age people, <laughs> oh, yeah, they often wear at least in the summertime kind of uh, bare upper body, naked upper body, so. That's the easiest with the arms and that. But, uh, I have not made it easy for myself, I think. That's the problem in your heart. Uh, unexperienced and you just do it like you. Like it too. Without thinking of the complications. And that's maybe not that smart. And then we need to have get some fur so we can make some clothes for them at a time in the future. But first I need to make the skeleton. I have not started that yet. I need to go and buy some metal and start to 
work on that. Oops, sorry, that was not. That was not on purpose. The reason I make it, I have told that before, but the reason I make them big is that it's easy, easier with the details and it's easier with the scan and the scan gets more detail. Get a get a better result in the print. That's why. that it's not that expensive. In dollars it's it's under five dollars.
thing to get the in size, I think. A little more. kind of pacing yourself to get to the ne next big step like when the I started to see some trees and scenery on the on the table start only with your picture and your imagination in in the head and then you kind of kind of always eager to get to the next point and the next big thing is when you start to have some I have <laughs> nearly said some living people in the set but I mean of course some finished figures that can move styrofoam in my tray.
could imagine those who who uh, play a lot of computer games that I don't I have never played but uh, I could imagine that they also always have a drive to get to the next level we'll see what's in there Oops, sorry. A lot of noise. Backside. little chin to the lady I think will be appreciated to ensure there's not the bad stuff because <coughs> when you are making details then
it. We'll see later what we will do. and the kind of little heavy forehead that's kind of the Neanderthal part of it we are not gonna make it so big to her but I have to start this place remove we can always put on that's I think is one of the nicest thing when you work with clay you can always change all the time. It's very nice material to work in. Hi. when it's a lady think it was a great hit by ordinary people.
and I need some It always looked a little, looks a little hopeless in the start, but don't despair. We will uh, make a nice little lady. Mustache or mouse. I think we will choose the mouse instead. We will get in trouble. And it looks like a Halloween mouse. At least until now. <laughs> Subby.
Put some ice in her head. Something magical happens when you apply the ice to her. Then it's easier to. And of course I also hope to give them all a little character. Get a little personality in the same. Same doing. It keeps coming. But I will think we will stop. We have used another hour. But, uh, so I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, 
and see if we can make this little lady look nice. I guess we can, but uh, I will say thanks to those who watch and remember always on pixelfantasies.com there are a lot of videos. This is uh, episode um, 135 and uh, there are kids workshop and there are over 2,000 uh, image to download, free to download. <coughs> Sorry, free to download in full size at uh, on the site. Us also on on the collections. So there's a lot of stuff there and uh, new coming every day. But now I will stop for today and see you hopefully again tomorrow. Thank you and good night.